with your commitment to freedom, to the advancement of the interests of people everywhere, the influence may be far-reaching. She immersed herself in our situation. I'm the only child of my family who gone to the university. To a large extent, thanks to the Peace Corps. Progress through peace is what will change the world. My names are Bert Magunda Katureve, and uh, I am a justice of the Supreme Court of Uganda. I was born in a, a village called Rugazi, uh, which is in a county called Winyarguru, and uh, I was born to a peasant family. My father and mother were just peasants. My father had quite a number of goats, and my job was to tend to the goats. <laughs> and I still like tending goats up now. <laughs> in 1965, the government of Uganda opened up 25 new secondary schools. And uh, students were allocated those schools. I, it was not my choice to go there, but I was allocated to go to a school called Chitunga High School. And we got to that school, and there were only three teachers. There was the headmaster and two Americans, Peace Corps. So that was the core stuff we had. That was my introduction to the Peace Corps. <laughs> uh, we had Mr. Gerard Regler, who was from Iowa, and he was teaching the sciences. And Mr. D. Maguire was from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and he was teaching uh, the arts, history and, uh, and English. They were keen to, to, to mix with us, we were keen to learn for them. So we bonded with them uh, because it was a small community and the school didn't have all these amenities that we associate with the school. So we went to the well to fetch water. We bathed out in the, on the stream. Um, they came along with us. We had campfires and uh, we used to go out hiking, uh, swimming at the lake. So yes, we quite interacted a little bit. Then in 66, they were joined by another Peace Corps, uh, uh, Mr. Kenneth Crane Hida, um, who has remained a friend to me up to now, and uh, I am keeping in touch with him. He has since visited Uganda twi twice, including uh, just three or four years ago when he came here with another group of tourists. And I invited him together with the visitors he came with to my home, and we gave him one big dinner, and we are all saying thank you. And uh, in his speech, he said, uh, when we were here, as young people so teaching, we didn't realize we were training the future leaders of this country. So he was very happy and we were all very happy to meet him. And I would say the same thing to the others if I met them. Now, if they hadn't been there, probably wouldn't even have been taken to secondary school if the government hadn't started those schools, or if they started schools and they didn't find teachers, then maybe they would have postponed the opening of the school. So my story is, in a way, part of the success of the, of the, of the American Peace Corps, I think. <laughs>